If God wanted you to marry someone of the same sex, then he would have made you able to reproduce with that kind of person, and you can't, so I don't think it's supposed to be that way. You, you see two people who care about each other, want to support each other, want to stay together? What the hell is wrong with you? Why do you want to get in the way of that? So then what happened after the wedding? How, how has your life unfolded since then? Uh, since the wedding, um, Kevin and I realized that we had a part to play in liberation. The church announced that uh, it would be suing the government for recognition of the marriages. Um, we became involved and became, decided that the advocacy opportunities and the opportunities for speaking and education were so great that we had a part to play in our own liberation. We didn't just want to be the names on the piece of paper that the court would going to look at. So we, you became activists we, at that point. We became ag activists, advocates. We devoted our time, our energy resources. Um, my spouse Kevin, um, he was a director with CIBC. He left the bank to pursue advocacy full-time. We went back to one salary. We remortgaged our home. We cashed in our RSPs in order to speak, to build a website, to write a book, to really take advantage of the opportunity to engage and educate on this issue. Uh, we were, as um, you know, our lawyer phrased it, we were to become the human in human rights. We were to be the human face on this issue because it can't be an academic debate. So after the wedding, when the government of Ontario refused to register your certificate of marriage, that must have been rather disappointing. Uh, disappointing and uh, not entirely unexpected. They had made it clear at the in the lead up to the wedding with all of the publicity that they would not register the marriage, which was, you know, later they were told by the courts they had overstepped their bounds. So then you took this to court? Correct. And you were successful? We were successful. We <laughs> so you have, you, you are to be obviously congratulated. It's an enormous uh, uh, success and, and uh, enormous undertaking that you've been on and presumably still are because as of June of this year, uh, we've, our Prime Minister Harper has announced that he's going to reopen uh, this debate <clears throat> on gay marriage. What do you think about that? Um, well, he's going to attempt to reopen the debate. I, I have great faith that the, you know, the Parliament of Canada will respond um, in a manner where I don't think they want to reopen this debate. I really don't think that this is an issue. You know, Canadians have dealt with this. Canadians, the majority of them feel Parliament has dealt with this issue. We have, you know, gone through both the legal system and through the parliamentary system. We have gotten to the point where we have put the issue to bed and ma the majority of Canadians do not want this debate reopened. Even those who oppose same-sex marriage, many of them are saying, we have had the debate, let's move on. Well, some are saying that for sure, but we now have our Justice Minister of Canada, who is the highest legal authority in the country, saying that not only does he want this debate to take place, but he will vote against same-sex marriage as he previously did when he was in opposition so but it's well, different being in opposition than being the justice minister well, well certainly you know the justice minister has made his views clear on this issue however you know when you you refer to uh, mr taves as you know the highest judicial authority in the land I, I think i would like to think that the charter of rights and freedoms is the highest judicial authority in the land well we still have the notwithstanding clause don't we well and but mr harper has said that he would not use the notwithstanding clause in the lead up to this and i think this is really where the, you know, the, the crux of the matter is going to be is, you know, judicial opinion says that Mr. Harper to put through legislation that would be in violation of the Constitution would basically have to use the notwithstanding clause and in essence declare gays and lesbians non-persons, non-citizens, not worthy of the rights and protections under the Charter. And I think that's a very unpalatable message for the majority so of Canadians. why would the Prime Minister be doing this then? Is he trying to get gays and lesbians? Is this a vindictive thing or is he trying to clear the air? What, what is the motive then? If you don't think he's going to succeed, if parliamentarians don't want this, what's going on? I think uh, he made an election promise to a group of his base supporters that he would, uh, the majority of whom do not support same-sex marriage, that he would bring a motion to talk about reopening the debate. I think he's keeping his promise so that he can be seen to be keeping his promise. I don't think he necessarily wants to really reopen what was a divisive debate. But I think he also, you know... said the, the same thing about abortion, but that's, that's coming up as well. Well, we're, we're hearing rumblings about this. And certainly, I think that the people involved 
must be vigilant, right? We must not ever lose sight that rights once granted must be protected and we must be careful about that. But at the same point, I think the majority of Canadians would reject any move to take away rights rather than to extend rights. We're dealing again in a very different scenario. But some polls also say that, they differ, I grant you, but some polls do say that the majority of Canadians are not in favour of, of gay marriage. Maybe they don't believe in pulling but right, rights back, but when it comes to the specific issue of gay marriage. But we're also dealing with the issue of gay marriage and the issue of marriage for same-sex couples is not a matter of populist politics. The Charter, of, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms says gays and lesbians are equal. Therefore, equality must be accepted. Regardless, you know, if we were to allow just populist politics to dictate minority rights, then we would only ever be as equal as the majority felt like making equal. And that is not what our Constitution is about. We must never subject minorities to the tyranny of the will of the political majority. And that's really the role of the Charter. That is really the role of the Charter. And really, you know, we have heard a lot about activist judges. Well, the judges are simply acting in the role that the Parliament has given them. They are the guardians of the Constitution, and they are where we turn when the government does not behave in, a, in accordance with its own rules. So your hope is that this will come, I, I presume it's not your hope to come before Parliament again, but it's going to, whether you like it or not. So it's going to come before Parliament in the fall. In September, I, I understand, um, and you you hope that the parliamentarians will vote not to open the debate. What if they they vote to open the debate? What are you going to do? Well, certainly, uh, any response um, that you know personally or with the the people I'm affiliated with will be a measured one. Um, certainly, we are going to continue to try and frame the debate in terms of facts, not in half truths not in we're going to try and deal with the emotional rhetoric and the emotionally charged language because i want people to make their decision about same-sex marriage based on facts based on the actual people that are involved i want them to base it on the human couples that are behind this story not on the language of you know that we've seen in the parliamentary debates some of which was particularly vicious and nasty um you know we will we will constantly be vigilant we will you know certainly if he was to pass legislation, he would have to get it through the Senate. The same Senate that voted for marriage may not vote to repeal this now. And if necessary, we would go back to the Supreme Court of Canada to say, this is an unconstitutional law. We would like your protection now. So the worst case scenario could be that there's a long legal road ahead. Another long Another legal road. Another legal road ahead. We'll be right back.